Hey, what's up guys? John here. What's happening in Paris and now the entire country of France is absolutely unbelievable. 40,000 troops on the ground, 1,300 protesters arrested, animals being released from the zoos, talking lions, tigers, zebras, Big, big things are happening. I'm going to show you the live footage of what's going on on the ground, as well as show you what's really happening. Now, a lot of people are talking about this one story, but there's so much more to this story that nobody else is talking about. And I'm going to break it down for you and show you where France and Paris as a whole, where it's headed over the next couple of years, so you can get a general idea and a real, real notion of what's to come, most likely globally. There's some really, really big problems coming. Really big problems. I'm gonna break it down for you. Please hit the like button. When you hit the like button, YouTube's gonna share this content to educate more people about what's really going on in this economy. Also, today's video is sponsored by greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you'd like to fix your credit to position yourself for the greatest wealth transfer of all time, which we're all in, we'd love to help you at greatcreditfast.com. Now take a look at this. So it started in Paris. Now it's spreading all over the place all over France. They are now starting to limit uh, public transportation. They're starting to even issue curfews and enact curfews to bring people indoors. It's not working well. Well, 1,300 protesters arrested. Look at this. Look at this situation here. 4.4 million views on this. Everybody is talking about what's going on here because this situation is getting out of control. I mean, it looks like, a, it looks like the country's under war, right? That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And we're seeing looting. People are running into malls, stealing everything. I mean, it's, it's looking absolutely crazy. Look at this situation. 330,000 views. Someone's driving and they turn the window down and they see a lion outside. It's crazy. People are shooting machine guns in the street, in the sky, right? When you're starting to look at that, you're like, okay, well, maybe it's just this one situation. You know, we experienced a situation in America a couple of years ago where there were mass protests all over, very, very similar. But in this situation here in France, we have to look at what happened 60 days ago. Because 60 days ago, there was a massive protest where there was one million strong, one million strong protesting about these pension reforms going from age 62 to 64 saying people basically had to work two more years and people were protesting all the street. Now people aren't really talking about it. They're talking about this new situation, right? New situation, this new problem. But it was only 60 days ago where a million people were protesting. You have to ask yourself, well, is there more to the story, right? Is there something else that's gonna happen or that's happening that nobody's talking about? Well, the answer to that is yes. Because look at this, June, July, and August, these are the peak, peak, seasons for tourism. This is when they make their money. Coffee shops, cafes, businesses, they all flourish during high season. Well, who's going to Paris right now? Who's going to France right now? Not many people, right? This is not good for the everyday middle class in France. And meanwhile, bankruptcies are up 50% last year, right? People in Paris and people in France are not in good financial shape for the most part. Well, this is where things start to really connect. France caps energy price increases to 15% next year to shield consumers. This came out last year. And this whole, this whole notion was that they were going to make this new bill, this new deal that was going to reduce energy prices and make things better for the people in France. But that deal actually never happened. The deal never happened. As of two days ago, uh, you know, they tried to make it happen, June 29th. And uh, it didn't happen. And now they're saying France, which has supported the subsidy proposal, has pushed in recent talks on various e-laws, more favorable treatment of low carbon nuclear energy, which it says it is crucial to meet these climate goals, right? So they didn't make the deal. You're gonna like to see utility prices continue to skyrocket. But this is very interesting as well. So if you have the middle class in France that are being hit with inflation, with rising energy costs, they're losing their tourist season, their high season, and now many of them are not even allowed to rent out their homes. They're not allowed to rent out their properties because of these new climate upgrades. So rent prices in France frozen for, for least energy efficient properties. Look at this. Landlords in France can no longer increase rent on properties with poor energy efficiency ratings thanks to a new law entering into force today, August 24th. It is part of a climate resilience law and is one of the number of a rule, number of rule, new rules being gradually introduced to improve properties energy efficiency. The measure concerns property classified as F or G on the diagnostic performance. 
The DPE used a graded rating scheme from A to G to indicate how energy efficient properties are, right? With A and A being the best and G being the worst. It takes into account the energy consumption and greenhouse gas emission rates of a home corresponding with the property's size. It means that as of now, rent prices are frozen for any tenant living in an F or G class property. There's around 5.2 million properties in France with an F or G rating. This cap will be removed if the property is upgraded or reclassified. How do you upgrade a property when you're losing high season with record high inflation, rising insurance and utility costs? And, you know, I mean, you're not going to be able to afford it. Most people are not going to be able to afford to upgrade their properties. And this rule will not be applied to properties that are rented out short term holidays, right? But as of already now, January 1, 2023, it will be illegal to rent out the absolute least energy efficient properties in France, those that consume more than 450 kilowatt hour per spare square meter per year. There's around 140,000 properties that fall into this category. This will then be extended to include the rest of G-rated properties from January 2025, and then extended further for F-rated properties from 2028 and E-rated properties from 2034. Another rule set to come into effect is the obligation from homeowners selling low performance properties to get energy audits. This measure was supposed to come into force September 1 for owners with properties classed as F or G, but has been pushed back until April 2023. The introduction of this rule has already been delayed several times due to lack of preparedness on behalf of the auditors. An energy audit gives a more complete breakdown of a property's energy efficiency and also contains recommendations on how to improve the property. The DPE is similar, but is less thorough. The obligation for people selling properties class E on the DPE to get an energy audit is set to come into effect January 1, 2025. It will be extended into d class properties January 1, 2034. So think about this. If you live in France, you're a small business owner. The world's been pretty hard for you. The world's been pretty hard and it's going to get harder. And you have to ask yourself, well, what happens next, John? Right? What happens after this? I'll show you. France strives to become the first in moving away from fossil fuels, right? They have this 32% renewable energy and final consumption by 2030. The entire country is moving in this direction. Right? A lot of the world is moving in this direction. And so when you're looking at this, is this going to be a cheap transition? No, it's not. Of course not. You're, you're switching out the entire energy supply. So what, what is that going to happen? Probably more inflation, probably increased taxes, right? All of which is not going to be good for an economy like France. But look at this situation. So they, this is France to pay a $500 million fine for falling short, essentially, of uh, renewable energy targets. And they say that we are negotiating to buy statistical megawatts from Italy and Sweden, right, on Tuesday. Her team said that while the final amount could be in the orders of several hundred million euros, this has not been decided in discussions with other members of the state still ongoing, right? So they're talking about buying hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of euros worth of uh, this solution, right, this new solution. Meanwhile, rising mortgage rates are stockpiling and properties are getting completely destroyed. 1,350 vehicles, 234 buildings either burnt down or damaged. I mean, more than 2,560 cases of arson were recorded. Think about what this is going to do to insurance, right? The people of France as a whole, they're getting hit. Meanwhile, look at what investors are doing. They're sitting on $5.3 trillion in cash. I have a question for you. If you were an investor and you live, let's say, in New York City, Maybe you're making $500,000 a year or a million dollars a year. Maybe you live in Washington, D.C. or Boston. And you're like, I always wanted to live in, you know, in France. I always wanted to get a place in France. I like to go to Portugal or Spain. I like to go to Italy. Uh, you know, maybe you like to go to the Netherlands or Switzerland. If you had a nice place here, it would be pretty convenient, right? A lot of people are going to be thinking that. They're going to be looking at these energy upgrades that many people aren't going to be able to do. They're going to be looking at the struggling middle class. They're going to be looking at these skyrocketing insurance rates, this affordability crisis that's unfolding. They're going to be looking at all the problems and chaos going forward. And when do people make their money? Famous billionaire Carl Icahn said, my job is to buy when everybody has to sell and to sell when everyone has to buy. Many investors are looking at the world just like that. They always have. And so when you look at it in a very expensive place like Paris or a really desirable location, people are going to be looking at this and saying, you know what, this is going to be a once in a lifetime opportunity to invest, which is not going to be a great situation for the people of France, the citizens of France who have lived there, worked there their entire lives, because they're going to get priced out. Because what's going to happen next is going to blow your mind. This is only just the beginning 
But I can promise you, we're gonna see a wave of capital flooding in there to do these property upgrades, to do whatever needs to be done to seize that opportunity because uh, it's there. This is what's gonna happen. What do you think about this situation? Where do you see the situation going? I think that this situation is gonna progress in 2023, 2024, and uh, 2025, 2026, you're gonna start seeing everyone run out there and start picking up these properties uh, for pennies on the dollar. I think there's gonna be a huge, huge investing opportunity for a lot of investors. I mean, look at the location. Look at just how convenient this would be for, I mean, for almost any business, right? To have a location in Paris, to expand an office in Paris. I think it's gonna be what everyone's gonna to start to do in the pain and things really start hitting the fan. What do you think about this situation? Where do you see this all going? Do you think we're stepping into a crisis to the likes in which France has not seen in a very, very long time? Drop it below. Let's have a conversation about this. I think there's a hell of a lot more to this story than just this one protest. Drop it below. Let's have a conversation. Add me on IG for uh, short form content. I definitely won't post here. Uh, subscribe here for more content based on what's really happening in the economy. And uh, if you want to fix your credit, we'd love to help you at greatcreditfast.com. I'll catch you guys in the next video.